Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. I'm Celeb Central, and today we dive into a dark and disturbing chapter from the past of the late Mohammed al Fade, the former owner of Herod's and father of Dottie Fade, Princess Diana's ex-boyfriend. Recent revelations from a BBC investigation have emerged, with five women courageously coming forward to accuse Al Fade of rape, among more than 20 women who have reported experiences of sexual assault. These allegations paint a grim picture of Al Fade as a man who misused his position of power, treating female employees as if they were his personal playthings. One anonymous accuser described the atmosphere at Harrods as one of fear and intimidation where employees felt pressured to comply with Al Fade's demands without question. She vividly recalled a terrifying experience from her teenage years, saying, Mohammed Al Fade was a monster, a sexual predator with no moral compass whatsoever. The current owners of Harrods responded to these allegations with a statement expressing their utter shock and dismay at the reported behavior of their predecessor. They emphasize that Harrods today operates under a completely different ethos, placing the welfare of employees at the forefront of their values. Women shared harrowing accounts, stating that assaults occurred in various locations, from Harrods offices to lavish locations like his Villa Windsor, and even during foreign trips at the Ritz Hotel in Paris. Some described a clear pattern of Al Fade targeting young female assistants, promoting them solely to bring them closer to his web of exploitation. One former employee, Tony Leeming, reflected, I think if I knew, everybody knew. Anyone who says they didn't are lying, I'm sorry. It became apparent that this was an open secret among those who worked under Al Fade, with many feeling helpless as they witnessed abuses. Moreover, unsettling details have emerged about the invasive sexual health tests purportedly offered under the guise of perks, with results being shared with Al Fade, leaving many women feeling violated and scared. Catherine, a former executive assistant, encapsulated the chilling reality, stating, There is no benefit to anybody knowing what my sexual health is, unless you're planning to sleep with somebody. Yainus. As we close this unsettling discussion, it's crucial to acknowledge the bravery of those who have come forward to share their stories. Harrods has condemned Al Fade's actions, asserting that today's company stands in stark contrast to that dark era. We can only hope these revelations encourage a culture of accountability and support for survivors of sexual abuse. Thank you for tuning in to Celeb Central. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on celebrity news and stories that matter. In cash.